How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is going to be a very quick tip on how to change the icon for your game on deployment. So when you launch your games in test play, you're still going to have this icon that's given in the top left corner. And we're always looking to customize our games more and more. So if you want to have a custom icon in the top left corner, it's super easy to do that. Most of you probably already know, but for those of you who don't know, all you have to do is change the file that's in the icon.png uh, location for the www uh, icons folder. So just create a, a new file, call, uh, give it the resolution of 128 by 128. Once you've made your file and you, you're happy with it, you want to save that file to your game folder. You can go game, open folder, and uh, actually you have to deploy it. So like I said, you'll have to deploy it. So after you've deployed your project, wherever you deployed it to, You'll go into that folder before you zip it up or put it in an executable, and you're gonna go into that folder's www folder, and then the icon, replace the icon.png, you can delete the other one or, or rename it, and then call the new file you created icon.png. And then when you run that game, you'll see in the top left corner, the icon is no longer the basic uh, icon that's given in the with the MV editor, but it's the custom one that you put. So be creative, customize your project as much as possible, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this very quick tip. I guess we'll start this new series called Quick Tips, you know, a couple minute videos, things that you can do to quickly improve your project. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff is appreciated. If you want to check out driftwoodgaming.com, you can do that, but don't feel obligated to. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.